Hi again. So I hope you all got to watch the last section on what exactly is a psychiatrist. Um, in this section, we're going to talk about how do you know if a psychiatrist is the right fit for you. And this is really key because you can have a very, very talented psychiatrist, very high quality, and it might be a terrible fit for you. And honestly, it's going to be hard for you to get better if it's a bad fit between you and your psychiatrist. So how do you figure out if someone's going to be a good fit for you? I think the first thing you can do is see what the psychiatrist looks like online. So as you know, times evolve, we get a lot of our information online. So when you go online and you look at the psychiatrist, what do you see? There are going to be some psychiatrists who are not online, and those psychiatrists are sometimes more traditional, or they're psychiatrists that really put a very high value on privacy, and they are going to minimize their online footprint. And that may suit you well, because you may be someone who's extremely, extremely private, and you think that's a good approach. Um, if you're someone that is more um, looking for convenience, someone who is looking for someone who's easy to access, maybe someone who is a little more modern in some of their approach, then you might look for more of an online footprint. And what you're gonna see is that some psychiatrists have a really strong online footprint where they've spent the time and energy to really make sure that when you see them online, you're getting a good image of them. And you're gonna see some psychiatrists online where it's not very thoughtful, um, that you kind of see some reviews and some stars and maybe some fives and maybe some ones. I would say if, if you see something where the psychiatrist has not put in effort online, um, I wouldn't take those patient ratings so, so seriously because normally what you get are patients who are either very, very happy, a good fit, or patients who are very, very unhappy and a bad fit. So those online ratings are sometimes a little bit harder to judge. Now, on the other hand, if you see a psychiatrist with a really strong online presence that has a lot of reviews, that really looks like they put some time into it, um, that's someone who's going to be much more up-to-date with kind of current communications and puts a value on that. So if that's something that you like, that might be a good fit for you. So the next step is when you call them or you email them, um, what does it feel like when you get in touch with them? Are they somebody that calls you back right away? Do they not get back to you at all? Are they rude on the phone? Are they lovely on the phone? Sometimes that first interaction will tell you a lot about whether they might be a good fit for you. Then when you get to their office, you want to look at the environment. Is it a, a hospital that feels very kind of sterile and clean? Is it a professional building? That's kind of how we are here. Uh, feels more like a normal office. Uh, is it a very cozy place, like someone's home or somewhere that feels like a home? It's very cozy. Um, different people have different preferences. Some people like the hospital setting, feels very medical. Some people like an office setting, it's kind of more professional. And some people like that homey feeling, just feels kind of more at home. So the environment might help you feel like it's a good fit or a bad fit. And then really, most importantly, is what happens when you're in the room with the psychiatrist. You absolutely need to feel comfortable. Now, the first time you see them, you might be a little nervous, and they might be a little nervous to see you. So sometimes, um, if you're a little nervous at first, that's totally normal. That doesn't mean it's a bad fit. But if there's something the psychiatrist does that really, really makes you uncomfortable, like they are just looking at their computer and they're not looking at you, or you feel like they're not listening to you, or you feel like they are judging you, um, those are good clues that the person is not going to be a good fit for you. Um, and you should listen to those cues. And again, there's nothing wrong with saying that someone's not a good fit. That doesn't mean they're not a great doctor. And I've had many patients say that I'm not a good fit, and I certainly don't take it personally, because I know that you really just have to find the right fit for you. So again, look online, see what that tells you. Call them, see what that interaction is like. That's actually really valuable, because if you don't get a call back from them on that first time, it's unlikely that you're gonna get calls back quickly in the future. Um, and then what does it feel like in the room? Um, I think in terms of reviews, people ask me about patient reviews, is that meaningful or not? Again, if you just see a couple haphazard reviews, they're probably gonna be all fives or all ones and not a whole lot in between. 
But if you see someone that really has a lot of reviews online, like 40, 50, 100 or more, um, that's probably going to give you a little bit better picture of, of what patients are saying. So um, I hope this has been helpful. Again, finding fit is really important. That's part of what is going to help you get better faster. Thank you.